The residents of Milwaukee lovingly know this place as the Coon City. I much prefer the other nickname, Brewer City. Coon City just sounds like a dope porno. It has taken a lot of discipline to not become an alcoholic in the city during my visit. I'll be strolling along the river rock, minding my own business, and then this happens. Do -do 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 -do, I'm walking down the street, minding my own business, and... Oh! Well, thank you very much, kind sir, for this random beer. It completely makes sense that there would be an abundance of beer here. The old Pabst Brewery used to dominate entire city blocks. Hipsters would have gone crazy. You can still take a history tour and see the drink tank where employees would hang out while sobering up on the job. Just imagine being able to get drunk on your job whenever you want. Well, okay, class, today we're going to learn about magma. Uh, none of this is going to help you when you grow up, but the core curriculum is forcing me to do it. The government sucks. <laughs> Besides Pabst, Milwaukee is also famous for all those beers your grandpa loved for some reason, including Schlitz, Blatt, and Milwaukee's Best. Milwaukee's best is not Milwaukee's best. Now, if only Shots beer was real, here's to Laverne and Shirley, two true American patriots. You need something to soak up all that beer, so get yourself a bratwurst. Beer and brat skiller! Even crazier, the scanners have figured out how to crossbreed the two, and that equals beer brats! Soak your brats in beer, grill them while drinking beer, sprinkle the beer on it at the same time! What do we want? Beer brats! When do we want them? Well, we're too young to die of coronary heart disease! Beer and brats are even ingrained in the sports! The baseball team is called the Brewers, and every home game there's a bunch of guys dressed up like sausages that race against each other. Go to American Family Field, formerly known as Miller Park, which is Milwaukee's biggest sausage party! The other local sports team is the Bucks, because there is nothing more dangerous in Wisconsin than hitting a deer when you decide to go fishing in the North Woods. And of course, Wisconsin's most famous team, it may not be in Milwaukee, but you gotta mention it, the Green Bay Packers! Tailgating at Lambeau Field is legendary! Some of the Bloody Mary bars in the parking lot are absolute masterpieces. You also get to wear cheese on your head and yell at Bears fans for driving like fibs. Fib, an acronym for Illinois Bastard. People from Illinois get this nickname because they tend to drive like Cruella DeVille after doing a hundred lines of blow. Proper etiquette at Lambeau Field goes something like this. You know why they say bear down in Chicago? Cause the bear should be euthanized. Suck my Johnsonville brat fibs. Ha ha ha! Who wants a Bloody Mary with an entire Culver's butter burger as a garnish? Besides gaining 200 pounds and liver disease, there's plenty of fun stuff to do around the Rocky. Wisconsinites love their bowling, and what better place to visit than the Holler House? It's the oldest certified bowling alley in the entire United States. Forget the bells and whistles of electronic bowling, you're writing all this down by hand, and there's an actual person setting up your pins. Don't forget to tip your pin setter. That's a real thing. Another wacky Midwestern adventure you can go on is the Safe House. It's a restaurant where you need a code to get in and you enter through a swinging bookcase. If you don't know the password, you have to do something silly to get in, such as wear a goofy hat or do a dumb dance. Although last time I was there, the guy working took it too seriously. Um, is the password 
put your lips around a sausage? You think this is a game, you red commie bastard? Perhaps a week in solitary confinement will adjust your attitude. No, 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 no. And what better way to conclude your visit than by posing next to a statue of the fans? Oh. What a beautiful city with rich culture and food, and the flag proudly flies on all the buildings. Nope, 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 can I get a hell no? Shame on you, Milwaukee! That thing looks like a bunch of clip art vomited over Microsoft Paint! The guy designing that thing must have been a lunatic! You know what would be a great idea? How about a giant Ferris wheel, but it's a deal? And hey, how about some pollution? Why not? And a giant stock of wheat? And that, is that supposed to be a tugboat or a shovel? I don't know. I have explored this awesome city from top to bottom, and I need your help, Milwaukee. I'll rent to become president of the United States, and here are five reasons why you should vote for me. Number one, National Beer Day will be a federal holiday. <laughs> Stop. Stop now! Unless you are operating heavy machinery and could easily hurt yourself or others, you'll be able to drink as much beer as you want while on the job. Pissed off at your boss? Drink a six pack and tell him to put a sausage in it. Wanna make a million dollar business deal? Well, drink up on that liquid charisma and turn into that smooth talker that the mirror says you are. Is a disgruntled customer ruining your day? Just give Karen or Chad a nice towel and laugh it off. Soon enough, you'll forget about that one-star review. Number two, outdoor tailgating will be legal at every sporting venue. This is America, and everybody should get the chance to bring their own booze so they don't have to pay $15 for a can of Miller Lite. And as an added bonus, anybody who offers up their food and booze to other spectators will be given a nice sweet tax break. As Midwesterners, the people of Milwaukee want to set an example for the rest of the country on how to be nice and share things. That's what Jesus would want you to do. Number three, change the flag of Milwaukee. I will use my executive powers to get rid of that piece of crap. Now don't get me wrong, there's already a people's flag seen right there and it's leaps and bounds better than the current female disaster. This flag is adequate. Oh, Milwaukee could do whatever they want. They could use this flag, or that flag, or that flag. I could take a dump on a blank canvas and that would be better. Nuke that abomination into oblivion! Number four, I will make bowling an Olympic sport. For the next Olympics, race walking will finally be discontinued. Like seriously, race walking? Oh, let's just turn in and look at race walking. I look like I'm late for my dental appointment. This is really exciting TV. It just makes sense to replace race walking with bowling. They could totally trick it out. You could do disco blacklights and unlimited free beer. Olympic bowling coming soon to the next Olympics. Number five. Thibs who drive like idiots will have to have a special registration when visiting other states, especially Wisconsin. This law will apply to anybody from the state of Illinois who drives like a jerk. This special sticker will be federally commissioned and will sell. I'm a thib who was never taught by my parents how to be a polite Midwesterner. Plus, I root for a garbage football team. With such an embarrassing bumper sticker, the solution is quite simple, Illinois. Stop driving like hoes! Thank you, thank you, Milwaukee, for having me. You've all been fantastic. Don't forget to vote for me as President of the United States because humans are trash. Follow my campaign tour and don't forget to support me and the other party. Good night, Milwaukee. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go chug a six pack and yell at some thubs 
Maybe put some ketchup on a hot dog to piss them off.